Hello caffeine fiends and welcome to another video for www.getbeamed.com I'm Vince the Mean Bean Machine and today we're doing an unboxing of the Wilfer Classic Aroma Coffee Grinder. So um, this is a burr grinder that is, uh, you know, designed to effectively get your grind perfect every time and you can set it as far as I'm aware to you know exactly your brew method and it should produce consistent coffee every time so uh, it's got a timer function function adjustable grinder settings it's got a you know UV lock box lock box no but where your coffee comes out um, UV UV protected it doesn't emit UV light um, so yeah, so this is a, a kind of really high quality grinder for getting exactly the right grind for what you want at home. Um, so this was a gift, so I don't know the exact price, but as, as far as I'm aware, you're looking at about £120 mark for one of these. Um, so uh, this was a very generous gift, uh, so thank you. Um, and today we're going to do an unboxing, see what it comes with, have a look at it, see what bits and bobs, uh, you know, uh, comes with it and, and how to assemble it, really. Um, so let's get started. So, uh, as you can see, a nice five year warranty, Wilfer. I believe it's called a Svart grinder. Um, Sometimes uh, there are there are, I know they're a Nordic company. They may be Swedish or something. All right, so let's get these bits out. Right, just cardboard first thing out. Plastic lid, lovely, brilliant. Oop. So here's the machine. And uh, let's uh, lift that out. Oh, there you go. So for the most part, just two bits. You've got plastic lid topper, the actual grinder itself, the plug, and then all those lovely instructions that I'm going to have to read through later. So not a lot of oomph, I think. I think that's everything. Yeah, it's just a cardboard holder at the bottom. So there you go. Instructions. Plastic tucker and the machine itself. So let's have a look at the machine. Take it out. There you go. So as you can see, oh hello, hello. So this is the limited edition dark arts coffee one. Um, so that makes it about 145 quid. So it's a bit more expensive. Uh, than the regular ones, which are 120. I did not know that, so I have to get back to whoever got me the gift and say thank you very much. The limited edition Dark Arts Coffee one. So you can get this from darkartscoffee.co.uk. I'll put the website up. And, you know, limited little thing there. Very nice. So let's have a look at the actual machine close up. Got the inside there, the actual grinding mechanism. So it's a burr grinder, unlike a blade, it will kind of crush them, the, the coffee more evenly rather than a blade which kind of just smashes and slices it up. And you've got the settings there, so you can just go, oh, I have a filter coffee. Or I have a, oh, so you should, there you go, I have an AeroPress, which is there. I have an AeroPress, which I don't at the moment. But. Or the one I will be using should be. I have a. Oh my god, this is a pain in the ass. I don't have a mocha pot either. I have espresso. Where is. Is there an espresso setting? God, this is awkward with one hand. French press. So there you go, off steep. French press. 
do it with this. So off steep, French press, filter, aero press, mocker pop. That's cool. Oh, comes out. Lovely. So there's the actual kind of burr grinder of blades. So it's not actually blades, but as you can see, it kind of, you know, it's not blades. It's, it's It flattens and crushes the coffee from within. And it should be, you know, replaceable. You can take bits out to clean and repair, which is very nice. Obviously, I'll have to look at the instructions a bit more. Back in, lovely. Put that back in for the settings. Lovely. I will have to look at because uh, it doesn't is ex explicitly say espresso, so I'll have to look at what's the best setting for my machine. Lovely. And you put it all on there. And there it is. So you've got your grind, and you can time it, and then your little grind box there. Go into there. Lovely. Right, so I've read the basic English instructions. I'm just playing about with it today, so I'm not expecting to get the perfect grind straight away. But what I've done is I've set it to the finest grind I can for espresso. I don't think these are really kind of designed for espresso. Um, I think you can get a good espresso grind out of them for kind of home espresso, but as you can see, there's no espresso setting. So I've just set it to the finest grind and we'll see what comes out. Um, and I'm just gonna test it out on 10 seconds because you you, know, you put a timer, put your grind in, you know, really should be measuring out your beans and measuring out the input output. But for now, I will put the beans in, uh, put it on the finest setting, which is this kind of mocha setting, and uh, see what happens. So there we go, beans in the top. Top on, plugs on, set to the finest setting. So what I'm going to do is just switch it to 10 seconds here, power's on, and then you hit grind. That's not 10 seconds. Should be your grind. So let's see how that looks. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That's lovely. Look, a nice even grind because of the burr grinder. Oh, let's, you know, let's do a side by side comparison with the uh, blade grinder now. And I'll kind of show you the difference, really. thing you notice is the difference in sound that's got a really kind of nice smooth not horrible electric sound obviously the grinding makes a sound but it just kind of like uh, grind so I've just ground some up in the blade grinder there you go so it's all smashed up it's not entirely even you can see you've still got bigger grains there and yes I can grind and grind and grind to get it smoother but it's a blade grinder just kind of smashes it up you don't get an entirely even grind which makes it a pain you compare it to that and just look how smooth it that is so you can see the kind of larger bits still in there the larger yellowy bits compared to this nice fine dust so beautiful beautiful really I mean obviously this is just my first try um, but look at that, that's lovely, that's lovely. So just looking at the comparison shots between the two grinds, so exactly the same amount in the basket here. So here's the first, the wheel for the uh, burr grinder, as you can see, beautiful crammer there, comes out, you know, nice mouse tailing, um, and it looks very nice and yellowy. And, and second up is the blade grinder, um, 
and it comes out and it's 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 a lot more watery you can see straight away you're still getting a nice kind of a nice -ish shot but it's a lot more watery and look the oil just doesn't settle the same so here's a shot of the Wilfer you can see far more yellowy creamier uh, crema and then a bit more dissipated not as yellowy on the blade we can see cleaning is going to be a bit of a pain opening it up every bloody time it's not going to be as easy to clean as a nice small blade grinder i've got a little brush here and i'll have to probably rinse that out i imagine but if that's my only complaint i think that's fair enough